Hi, this is Fishaxe Sorbet with PNP, and we're going to give you another tutorial today. Uh, this one happens to be how to make basic HUDs with just shapes and styles. Uh, make sure you have your high def uh, option checked if you can, so you can see my screen a lot clearer. Um, Alright, let me just show you a couple of things here. This is your shape tool. Um, there's a lot of different shapes that you can make just right off the bat. Rectangle, rounded, ellipse, polygon, and line. Custom's a little different. So, this being the basic tutorial, I'm going to show you rectangle, rounded, ellipse, and polygon. Um, let's start off with rectangle. Um, I'm going to show you uh, another little tip here. Um, if you want um, a perfectly squared off shape, you hold shift. Um, it works with any of them. Even the circle. This also helps with marquee up here if you need marking of any sort and you want a round um, marquee you can hold shift and it pops right into a circle so um, that might be helpful in whatever you're doing um, uh, these are you know great for buttons or whatever so all right Okay, so um, what we're going to do, we're going to start off. What I like to do is I like to make my buttons first. So um, I take a little extra step and I pull out the lines from upstairs. You see my ruler up here. If you click the ruler and drag down um, it will show you uh, blue lines. These don't come up in your final product. They just kind of help snap things into position. Um, Photoshop loves to snap stuff into position. So, um, If you don't have these, you go to your rulers, view rulers, and um, if uh, um, if you don't see the blue stuff or you don't want to see the blue stuff it's under show guides again view show guides okay um, if it's not there for you check your manual it may be different for different versions so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just duplicate this layer for my buttons here. Um, let's see. I just took off the background layer in case you were wondering. Um, there you go. And there's my buttons. Under the buttons, probably going to want to add a let's let's add a rounded backing on it so now that we basically have our buttons we can I'll show you this now you can grab the blue and push it up into the ruler again and they disappear so you basically have a nice um, guided uh, path and then you don't need anymore so you just you know get rid of it um, on top maybe you want to add some text so let's say um, my example HUD and we'll come over here to our styles now so far we haven't really done much with our styles so um, let's give it a shot here 
Uh, you just kind of go through and find whatever kind of works for you, um, what's best for your application and color. Um, I'm going to just kind of pick one because I don't really care. Um, and maybe pick some buttons here. Okay, here's a good example of. Okay, say you have a button. And, oh man, I love that button. But my other buttons aren't the same. So, what we do to change that is we hold. Um, whoops. We hold our Alt key down and uh, we we just drop we hold our alt key um, click the effects with your left mouse button and drag it down so you know it basically just sort of um, it adds to it 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 swaps whatever you got under your effects uh, if you don't want to use any styles I've I've covered that in a different tutorial but I'll show you really quickly if you right click and go to um, uh, blending options it'll bring up your layer style and you can come up with any style you want um, I will show you where to go get styles on the um, the description a couple of places I like to go um, but uh, this is basically a, a, a basic HUD that we're building here it's nothing special but it it'll get the job done and uh, you know it's it's you know it's gonna work for your application and it's a lot quicker than what we've you know been used to so uh, you know keep that in mind when we're uh, doing these so I'm just going to swap out a couple of things here. Just playing around, checking things out. Maybe uh, drop some of that. Uh, let's see. And there's so many to choose from, you know. Um, uh, uh, one thing I like to do is, like, can you, all right, you can basically see that this thing has maybe a reservoir in there so um, up the top uh, you can make like another text layer like um, like you know um, uh, I'll just go with one okay so we have a one here alright so we've got a one on our button okay and um, then what you do is you duplicate the layer and you put it on top and then you change um, change the layer uh, properties slightly and um, to something and you can you, you know you can make like a sort of a glossy overlay on it you know like a like a button would have you know so you just kind of grab something and do like maybe a like a op opacity of you know or something maybe maybe there's one that's already kind of opaque um, but you know that will help um, create the illusion of an actual button it sort of makes it look like there's a a fill you know um, Oh, like the buttons actually inside of it the one you know like for example um, this one here um, there is a difference and you can mix and match layers and do all kinds of things that you want to do so I hope this helps uh, in some way um, let me know rate our uh, things and Leave comments what may be something you want to see later on. So, enjoy, and thank you very much.